Happy weekend. I am popping on during Brielle's nap time to chat with you about living intuitively. I was on live the other day talking about relationship health and I promised that I would hop back on and delve into this topic because I ended in talking about how can we trust our inner wisdom. So I do hope you're doing well today and hey, I get that that's not always the case. So if you need to send me a DM, you just need somebody to hear what's going on, please feel welcome to do that. But about trusting inner wisdom. So I was saying how sometimes we've been conditioned to think that we can't trust our own inner wisdom and other people aren't to be trusted. They need to be given direction. They need to be told when you have, you know, um, when you see from a different perspective than they do, you need to interject and tell them what you're seeing for their sense of safety. And as much as that may be appropriate at times to live that way, to live from that place means that we don't give ourselves and other people their autonomy. And we are actually cultivating a belief that we don't believe they can be trusted and we don't believe that we can trust ourselves. And I know that for, for myself growing up, I was certainly conditioned to believe that. And some of you listening might say, of course we can't trust ourselves, Kareem. And this isn't about not looking for others' input or for gleaning from other people's experiences, their knowledge, their wisdom. But if you have to check in with multiple people, say even one person, before you make your own decisions, because you aren't sure that you're going to make the right decision, that is an indicator that there is more to delve into around this topic. You should get to trust yourself. You should get to actually make your own choices without needing someone else's approval, without needing their guidance. And especially when I work with people, I I want them to be empowered. I want them to empower themselves. So even though I'm there as a guide, I'm actually not looking to give you or whoever I sit with all the answers because I don't believe I have all the answers. I don't believe that the goal is for me to have all the answers for you. But I do believe that there's a lot we can, how we can enhance each other in relating together. So about intuitive living, it starts by actually noticing, noticing what's going on within. And then as you become more aware of what's going on within you, you start to notice what's going on around you. It really is an integral part of learning this of this way of intuitive living by starting to practice the noticing. And that might be just noticing the physical sensations you have. That might be noticing that when you're walking out the door, you have this gut feeling, you have this sixth sense, and you follow through with it, not because you logically can make sense of it, not because you necessarily know what it means, but because you're practicing to become more connected with yourself, to become more skilled at actually trusting what you sense versus what you know. And that is a risky, scary process, but it is the way to strengthening your intuition. It is the way to trusting yourself more. And it always takes practice to grow in something, to get stronger in it. We, we recognize that in certain areas, but it's true for all of life. The practice of doing something is just the repetition. That's how we become more confident in it, more skilled at it. So what else about, what else can I give you? Because I want you to walk away from this chat feeling like, you know what, there's something I could try to implement to strengthen my intuition a little bit more. So for you, is it that, you know what, you don't even have a basis of trusting yourself? You don't actually 
notice. You aren't aware of what's going on within your body or around you. For example, in my area, I'm in the New England Northeast area of the United States. There was an earthquake this morning. My husband said to me, did you know there was an earthquake? I was like, what time did it happen? And he thought it was about 10 minutes before when, when he was speaking to me. And I was like, no, didn't sense anything. Then he called me back to tell me when it actually had happened. And I said, oh my goodness. I experienced this gripping fear in my body. And I actually considered it was related to something else going on in, in my life with one of the people that I deeply care about. So... I, I started speaking out something over them and then it, because I truly believe that um, what we say impacts the atmosphere and then because I was comfortable letting that fear be in my body, I, I allowed it to be there. I felt it. I connected with it and it was gripping. It was intense. And then because I wanted to actually discharge it and, and allow it to be released, and I was sitting nursing my 15 month old. So, you know, I was doing what I could in that moment. I started to do, I made some vocal tones like, oh, that was a way for me in that moment to allow it to move through me and to be discharged out of me. The fascinating thing was, now I'm not trying to make logical sense of this. See, I'm not gonna try to logic my way out of this, but what I do find interesting is when he said to me, did you know there was an earthquake? Did you sense anything? Before he knew the timing, I immediately thought of that moment where I experienced that gripping fear. It, it could be, and again, I'm not trying to logic this, but I'm just explaining it for those of you that are curious, what are you, what are you talking about here? Could be that collectively in this area, there was a sense of fear either for the person's experiencing the vibrations of the earthquake or for someone realizing that's what had happened, right? For, for some people, that, that could produce a feeling of, of fear. Just saying, there's the possibility that there is a way that I was actually connected and experiencing that sensation because of what somebody else or what was going on in the surrounding area. So that's just actually one practical way that I would explain what living intuitively looks like. And just check in, check in, oh, my notes, because I want to bring up one more point before I wrap this up. If you have had your reality denied in the past, if you have been taught that actually you can't trust yourself you don't know or say you sense something. You brought it up to somebody because you sensed this was going on and they denied that. Actually, you found out later they were lying that you truly were sensing accurately. And then for whatever reason, they denied that. There is a level of pain there. There is a level of healing that's going to be needed. And that's a part of like all areas of life, right? Have pain attached to them and we can experience healing. And all of these different elements I bring up around this topic, we're gonna be diving into in the group program that I'm hosting. It starts up next week. We meet weekly each Tuesday evening from 7.15 to 8.30 Eastern time. We're not just talking about intuitive living. We're also talking about relationships health, which I touched on the other day. And we're talking about this core component that's incorporated into all of that self-supportive living. Relationship health starts with the self. Learning to live more by your intuition than your logic starts with the self. There is an integral part of this that is rooted in us, in you. And we're going to be talking about that. We're going to be delving into some deep conversation with a small group. I max out at 10 people. It is a safe space. It is a space where we connect with our hearts. And I'm there as your guide. I'm there to offer you feedback, to offer you space to share. As a part of the group program, package. You also get a one-on-one -on -one session with me, which is a really special time because I'm there. I'm just there to support you. It's all about you. For 90 minutes, 
We're, we're talking about what your heart needs and you're getting to share and you're going to experience some transformation. Even in just a 90 minute session, you will experience some transformation. And so I would, I would love to have you. If you're resonating with this topic or you go back or you've already watched the live that I did on Relationships House and you're resonating with things that I'm saying, then you would be a good fit for the group. It would be something that would help you in moving where you want to go. So I welcome you in. Link through the bio or go to changeradically.com to learn more or save yourself a seat. And I hope that in talking about this idea of living more intuitively, that there is something you can take from it and start to put into practice if you'd like to grow your intuition. And for now, I hope that you have a fabulous rest of your day.